Hey guys, RPM here, hope you're doing well, having a really great day this video. I have something interesting to show you, and I'm not quite sure if a lot of people know this or not. I personally just found this out recently, and this is mainly pertaining to a lot of, I guess, the older Gold Shell ASICs, I guess on the older firmwares. And I have an LT5 Pro here. This is a Litecoin Merge Mining Dogecoin ASIC, which I just downgraded the firmware to 2.20 because apparently you can click on this minor button 10 times in order to get the or open up the overclock or undervolting settings. So let me just do that right now 10 times here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And looks like that was a little bit less, but it opens up this power plan. Have you guys seen this before? I personally have just learned about this a couple days ago and I've been wanting to make this video because I haven't really seen other people do it. The only video I saw online was from Coastal Crypto Mining. They have a YouTube channel. They made a video about the L3 Plus Hello Gold Shell X5. And they did the exact same thing. He explained here the hash rate mode. And then you just click. It needs to be on the hash rate mode. And then you need to click on the miner 10 times in order to bring up the custom like parameters here in which you can change the, I guess, undervolt settings, megahertz settings. And so I am wanting to do this, but I am not quite sure which settings to utilize for my LT5 Pro. So in another video, I just wanted to, I just relay this information uh, for anyone in, my, in the community here, in the RPM community, have you guys done this before? And you can see here, I can edit out the numbers, you know, change the volt settings. I'm not gonna save this by the way, but you know, I can change the megahertz as well. Has anyone done this on their, I don't know, mini doges or, um, I don't know any other gold shell ASIC miners out there because what I wanted to show you now and actually before I do that this video is graciously sponsored by are you searching for the most up-to-date profitability numbers for new and old ASIC miners in the market today? Look no further than MindTheASIC.com where they have specific pages for not only your profitability, but home mining for quiet ASICs, payback time, and efficiency. You can also categorize ASIC miners by coin as well as many other resources to further help you decide whether or not to get into ASIC mining. Thank you, MindTheASIC.com for sponsoring this video. So here, I have a mini Doge Pro. This has been updated to the latest gold shell firmware, okay? And so if I do click on this thing for, you know, 10 clicks, it doesn't come up, all right? So there's only the hash rate mode. I've done a different browser. I made sure, you know, all this other stuff. I've tried many things to make it come up for the mini Doge. Apparently it can be done. I've seen some VosCoinTalk.com. Uh, he has here, uh, someone posted, about uh, to access the settings, you click 10 times rapidly on the miner above the MAC address near the power plan. Okay, so I did that, but it doesn't come up for this one because I believe my firmware for this is pretty much on the latest. And this will only happen on older uh, firmware from, from what I understand. So what I had to do, because my LT5 Pro was on the latest 2.23 firmware on the Gold Shell GitHub here, I have this link down below, you guys can look at it. Just a disclaimer, if you're gonna do this, do this at your own risk, okay? If you decide to you know, change any parameters here, you could burn up your ASIC, you could do, you know, something wrong could happen, okay? So this, this is something I don't think Gold Shell wants a lot of people to do because it could break your Gold Shell ASIC. Uh, just a little disclaimer there, all right? But going back here, I had to go to, uh, go to file, okay, button here. This is where I typed in LT5. And this gives me all the different like older firmware versions that I, I tried. So I was on the latest one, like I mentioned, 2.23. And then I downgraded to 2.20 so that I could click on that minor button 10 times in order to get that undervolt. Because on the latest firmware, I couldn't do that, right? So that's why I was able, you know, I'll show you guys again. So if I go back, go back to minor, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and it goes up. See, I click 10 times on this minor title here and this comes up. Okay. So interesting, interesting stuff. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm able to do it pretty easily, you know, in, in concession here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. There you go. See, shows up no problem, but I do have other examples I want to show here. 
So my mini doge doesn't work. My LT light, let's see here. Uh, the LT light that I have, gold shell LT light, is on low power mode already. This is on the latest firmware. But again, same thing. 910, I can't, yeah, I click it 10 times, done it multiple times. This power plan doesn't change. Um, let's go to the next one. I have a KD Box Pro. This is the first gen. Uh, so hash rate mode, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Nope, doesn't come up. Tried many times. And uh, the, the KD Box doesn't work for me. Uh, let me know if anyone that has one that's on older firmware, I haven't tried it. Uh, let me know down below. It's on Mine's on 2.21. So I guess we can kind of verify uh, KD, right? KD, let's see. KD Box. So it looks like there's actually a bunch of older KD Box firmwares. So I could do that. And some people may be asking, Red Panda, all of this that we're, that I'm doing, why do this? Well, it's because I want to see if we can get any more efficient on any of these gold shell ASIC miners that you guys see here. So the KD Box Pro, just by itself, right? It's about 90 watts per uh, terahash. So what what's not to say if you can edit the parameters, right? These parameters here that we could get even better efficiency, especially on my LT5 Pro, right? This is something that I'm I'm actually really curious about. Uh, I guess for my LT5 Pro, you can see it's 1.265 uh, watts per uh, per mega hash per hash here. Okay, so it's it's not as efficient as a lot of these other ones, but I'm wondering if it could be. So if anyone out there does anyone have an LT5 Pro or uh, anyone that's watching this, please post you know what numbers you did in terms of this. So like if you guys can, if anyone out there has done this, this will help other people that can get a little bit more efficiency out of their gold shell ASICs, you know, why not, right? Let, let me know down below. I would love to try this on my LT5 Pro. But going along, okay, so the next one, the LT Lite, uh, KD Box Pro, uh, the KD Box 2. Okay, so here's another one. So if I did 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, nope. KD Box 2 doesn't, but they do have a low power mode already in the power plan, uh, which we've tested in the KD Box 2 review already. I have a KD Lite here. This one has a low power mode as well. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Nope, doesn't come up. And then I have a uh, HS Lite. Uh, HS Lite has a low power mode as well on the latest firmware. But again, doing the 10 click thing doesn't work as well. So Gold Shell HS Lite doesn't work for me anyway on the new firmware. So what if, if I, for instance, just put everything on the older firm firmware, uh, if these Gold Shell, let's say HS Lite has, uh, oh, it looks like there's a new HS Lite firmware, actually. Uh, I'm on 2.24. Oh, no, that is the newest one. Nope, there's a 2.2, nope, 2.24, yeah. HS Lite. And the, oh, there's a 2.23. Okay, never mind. Maybe the 2.23 will let me do that on the HS Lite, but I'm not going to hold my breath. Anyways, guys, I'm just curious. Anyone else in the comments in the RPM community or anyone that has one of these, uh, any of the gold shells, and you guys have tried this method here of getting the like custom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten clicks, right? With the mouse to get the power plan. Okay, this is where you change the fan. I guess this is this is for the two fans. And then this part here is for the voltage. Another thing is if, you know, for instance, at the top here, if I typed in instead of config, I typed in debug. Now, this is where we can see some fun stuff here. So you can see the chips, you know, on the, on the gold shells and whatnot. So I guess this could be a good way for me. Uh, if I were to play around in another video, I will play around. Uh, if anyone has any, you know, specific numbers, I could try. You see, these are all clocked at 840, right? And look at, wow, what's going on here? Nonce, nonce. These are the, uh, I guess, the, the shares, I believe. Hardware errors. Oh, it looks like I have one of the chips is 22. 22 hardware errors, right? So this is quite interesting. If I, if I do, for instance, if I do start changing these parameters, right? Uh, we could start getting more errors, maybe not enough power, right? Maybe not enough nonces, right? And all this kind of stuff. Uh, we could see maybe this kind of stuff um, through the web GUI of this gold shell specifically. And we can monitor, do some fun stuff. We can see the logging here. You know, a lot of cool stuff that um, I've been wanting to see here and try to gain a little bit more efficiency on on my LT5 Pro because like I showed you guys here, it's not quite efficient, right? Against other uh, gold shells, but 
I've heard that we can bring it down, gain a little bit more efficiency. Uh, of course, we're going to lose a little bit more hash rate maybe and a lot more, a lot more watts. That would be nice because this LT5 Pro is 3,100 watts. So what's not to say I could bring this down a bit more, gain a little bit more efficiency, you know, spend a little bit less on power uh, for what I am gaining, right? Uh, that's why we always like to, you know, look at the efficiency numbers, especially with these days that the low power modes, like for Bitmain, S19s, S19Js, have been more prevalent lately. I, I would say a lot of people have been moving towards this. Uh, we did a test on that already. You know, Ethereum Classic, a lot of these jazz miners are super efficient that we've tested. Dana now with the low power mode, the IB Link BMK3s uh, have a low power mode. We've tested that in a video. You know, all these things that are coming out of the woodworks, I, you know, I just recently found out regarding the gold shells that you could do this. And so I, I wanna know from you guys, uh, let me know if this is something that you guys have done. Let me know some numbers down below, would really appreciate it. And maybe we'll help out some people uh, in the comments, but do this at your own risk, okay? If you are gonna downgrade the firmware, uh, which is pretty easy to do if you download it from GitHub, you just simply click on the firmware version, it'll go to your downloads folder of where you download it from GitHub and uh, upload it and it will take about a good five to ten minutes from the gold shell uh, the, the ones that you downloaded from gold shell so yeah anyways my friends let me know your thoughts appreciate you all thank you guys for the numbers for anyone that has lt5 pro i will try it in another video and i will show the exact power consumption uh, on this guy as well in another video okay so anyways thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you on the next one have a good one peace out